Welcome to Jack's conference here in Munich. I'm uh, with Joe Landman from JFrog. Okay. So nice to have you here. We just had a keynote where you are talk where we was talking about a software module. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you were saying basically, uh, welcome to hell. So what's your problem with software modules? So software modules per se uh, is, uh, is a good thing. Uh, what we were talking about, what I was talking about in the, in the keynote is uh, some problems with some of the module systems because none of them made everything right from the beginning. And so we, since we deal with module systems uh, on a daily basis because we make products that are about managing those modules, then we have a lot of insights about uh, where people did the good thing, where module systems uh, were not uh, uh, sticking to the right solution, and, uh, and we thought it's kind of interesting to share it with people. Also, a lot of people that are currently building new systems, they make them pluggable from, from the beginning because with the cloud, it's very easy to make your system. Uh, uh, it's, it's very, I mean, it's very easy to distribute uh, the pluggable pieces in your system and have your uh, application extensible. So we thought it kind of uh, uh, can give people ideas about the good and bad decisions and to learn from other people's uh, mistakes and good acts. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you can give some examples. You were talking about Maven, some funny stories where perhaps Maven is not so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, uh, it's not a big news that Maven is imperfect. I mean, it made a big change to the Java uh, ecosystem for sharing binaries. You can, and you cannot uh, uh, take it away from Maven. It really started something big. Uh, still, it has some issues about sharing and mixing metadata uh, and configuration, which you normally want to have out of your descriptors. Uh, the transitive dependency resolution of Maven is a little bit limited. So it ends up with some funny situations when, uh, when you're trying to, to look at what Maven does. And uh, yeah, we, part of the keynote was about that. Mm -hmm. So we have the founder of JFrog. Huh? What's the story behind JFrog? So JFrog is a company, uh, it started out with Artifactory as an open source project at the end of uh, 2006. And uh, soon enough, the project was, was so successful that we decided to uh, uh, set up JFrog behind it. And that was in 2008. And since then, JFrog made a kind of a revolution in, the, in how people are consuming and publishing their binaries uh, with a new domain uh, that is referred to as a binary repository manager. Um, so it didn't exist before, uh, at least not in the Java land. People were using the subversion uh, source control. And or worse, Git, because in Git you have the full history when you clone a repository. So it's not very suitable for managing binaries. Uh, or or uh, proxying file system, shared file system for sharing binaries where you don't have good enough auditing, you don't have searchability, you don't have proxying facilities. So this new domain of binary repository management is something that JFrog and the other players in the ecosystem uh, created in the past years. And like CI servers were, were something that just penetrated the market slowly. And today, nobody thinks about uh, using uh, a build without uh, uh, CI. Then uh, consuming and publishing binaries is, is like an essential part of the, of the development process today. It's not questionable anymore. So this is what JFrog did. And you launched a new service this year, I think, uh, with Bintray, right? right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so uh, Artifactory is a, is a development time, uh, so to speak, uh, uh, platform. And with Bintray, we uh, introduced a cloud service. So it's a social platform for sharing binaries. Uh, currently, we serve uh, open source binaries. Uh, so people may refer to it like the, the GitHub of binaries. I've heard some, some people refer to it like that. And what it gives you as a developer, it gives you a very uh, easy self-service platform to go online, share your binaries with the world uh, on a fast CDN. Uh, get, uh, as a consumer, you can get notifications about new binaries that are coming out. And uh, uh, yeah, so, so basically, you, you, have, you have a cloud service that allows you to, to do your open source distribution. 
And today we hold uh, the largest collection of Java binaries around. So we have 70,000 uh, packages uh, already, which uh, uh, has all the binaries that, uh, that are in the most popular open source Java uh, repositories around. So it's Bintray is up to date with all those binaries, as well as binaries published directly to Bintray. Mm. Mm. And uh, what is planned for the next versions of Artifactory and, and Bintray? So with Artifactory, we're coming out with Artifactory HJ availability uh, by the end of the year, which will allow you to have uh, uh, more than a single instance uh, of Artifactory uh, in an active-active configuration. So you can take one instance down, upgrade it, uh, or do maintenance on it and uh, uh, you have uh, a continuous uh, service. And this we did because we had, Artifactory became so integral uh, part of the, of the development and build system all the way to production. When it's down, it fails your build system, it fails your uh, go to, to production, and there is absolutely no tolerance uh, uh, from users for downtime in Artifactory, which is great news for us, but also meaning that we have to solve this problem. And this is what we aim to do with the AJ version of Artifactory. Uh, as for Bintray, it's, uh, it's a service, right? So there is no version and we, uh, we do continuous delivery, delivery on Bintray. Uh, and we have a lot of features planned. Uh, recently, we introduced uh, Sync to Maven Central. So instead of going through the uh, uh, kind of tedious route of registering and opening a Jira account and, uh, and making, uh, uh, do, uh, doing a manual process of validating yourself and so on, we allow you to uh, sync directly to Maven Central from Bintray if you want stuff from Maven Central as well. Uh, the other thing we introduced is uh, part of our statistics. So we provide uh, uh, up-to-date statistics to the minute uh, of your downloads. And part of that, we also introduced the ability to download your logs, your request logs by users. And it's something very unique to Bintray. No other repository provides that. So we believe it's your binaries, it's your logs. You can download and analyze them. Of course, we allow, uh, to, do, we allow to do it uh, via REST API as well as the UI. Uh, and we have a lot planned for the next year for Bintray. Uh, yeah. OK, so thank you very much. And enjoy your time here at Tax. Thank you.